you guys, Marty Schwartz here with GuitarJams.com. Got a special guest here, John Kineski, a professional guitar player. You may have seen him with Tenacious D, among others. Um, and he's going to do some finger style, right? Yeah. Kind of like, you know, James Taylor, a couple of James... Yeah, the, that sort of thing. Yeah, just a couple little finger style tricks. Um, of course, James Taylor's got to be the best when it comes to singer songwriter finger style playing yeah he's awesome he's so great you got a ton of things going on but you actually do you've been doing some skype lessons too yeah yeah i teach uh, all kinds of different stuff on on skype uh, over skype it's been working out really well i think whoa did can yeah. i sign up yeah of course you, <laughs> <laughs> you were telling me earlier it's pretty filled up but if someone wanted to try and set one up with you, how would they go about it? Yeah, I mean, availabilities pop up all the time. Uh, you just email john at johnkineski.com. I'll, I'll leave a link cool. so people can check it out. Awesome. Just cool. say, I want lessons, I'll, sh I'll hit you back with the details. The intro part to Carolina in my mind. Okay, so it sounds like this. <laughs> It's a fairly simple passage if you know a little bit about um, your right hand finger style stuff, but I, we're going to focus on a really short bit of it here because I think what we really want to do is show some of the techniques that go into uh, that kind of playing um, rather than just teach you the, the song. So, um, you know, right hand position is a lot of people do it a lot of different ways. Um, as you can see, I have crazy eagle's talons for fingernails, and uh, that's the way I do it. Some people just use, you know, their fingertips, uh, really whatever works. That is what works for me, so that's what I do. Um, then uh, you'll see some guys will rest their pinky here. I personally don't prefer that, but, um, you know, I, I really don't think there's a right or wrong way. Um, you can also rest your palm here and do it, but again, for something like this, that's a real open. I like to just have a nice kind of comfortable hovered over the strings kind of hand position here. And, uh, you know, you just keep your fingers close, close at hand. Like when there's, you know, like for instance, this D chord is a great example of a place where you have four strings here. So you have thumb, first, second, and third. Now you should be able to comfortably just comfortably do this kind of motion. And evenly with the same amount of force on every string. So that's gonna really open up kind of some doors here, like just getting comfortable with having your hand positioned the right way and stuff like that. So the song starts with this sort of thing here. Sorry, song starts with this here. And then slowly, it's just hammer on from the suspended. particular situation is assigned a string. So, thumb on the fourth string, first finger on the third string, and so on and so forth. And then moving on, when I go to this G-shaped chord, which is actually an A, because of the capo, but um, we do what's kind of based on like a comping style, with finger, uh, finger style, which is where you just use your fingers to play the notes of the chord that you want to play rather than strum it. We're gonna go, we're playing the bass note and we want these top notes here. We want the first, second, and third string. So we're gonna use our first finger on the third string, second finger on the second string, third finger on the first string, and we're gonna comp that chord. And then follow it with that note. Oh, I'm sorry. Then follow it with that open G there. We use the first finger to hit that. So we got 
got that, then we go over, we comp our G, walk the bass down, and that's basically the gist of that intro. Um, but within that, there's a lot of cool techniques that you can apply to really anything, uh, you know, that you're playing acoustic guitar, if you're a singer-songwriter, whatever, so it's not just, you know. It, it adds a whole another character. And, you know, that's something that's great about James Taylor is not only is he an incredible songwriter and singer, but you've got, um, you've got incredible guitar work in there, you know. And any place where you can get, you know, just a, 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 any, any place where you can get musicality out of your work is, is, is good, you know. <laughs> I agree. So, so, okay, so I'm going to, I'll hit you with that real slow here. I'll do it a couple times, and then I'll bring it up to speed. So another thing that you might have noticed in there are these little um, uh, pretentious flourishes, I like to call them. Um, so, it's a good description. Yeah, so when you get really comfortable with being able to get these, um, they, these are called thumb rolls, by the way. They're based on a banjo technique. You get them real, real smooth. You can actually go into chords with them. Have a pretentious flourish. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's a good like band name or album name. <laughs> yeah.
Hey, what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Guitar Jam. Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Take two. No, it's good.